subscribe to get contents via mail, purchase shorthand journals and more. The petitioner herein filed MC number 34 slash 2020 against the respondent under section 12 of the DV Act claiming various reliefs full stop. The petitioner is aged 61 years and the respondent is aged 67 years full stop. According to the petitioner, comma, she is the legally wedded wife of the respondent full stop. It is alleged that her first husband within bracket Rajendran deserted her in the year 1980 and thereafter, comma, she married the respondent on 10-12-1981 full stop. It is alleged that a son is born in the wedlock between the petitioner and the respondent and now the son has attained the age of 35 years full stop. However, comma, the respondent disputes the paternity of the son full stop. Para change, in the counter statement filed by the respondent before the learned magistrate, comma, he has disputed the marriage as well as the domestic relationship full stop. A contention was raised that, comma, since there is no domestic relationship between the petitioner and the respondent, comma, the petitioner is not an aggrieved person as defined under section 2 within bracket D of the DV Act and hence the petition under the DV Act is not maintainable before the court below full stop para change. The petitioner filed CMP number 2100 slash 2022 at the court below to conduct the DNA test of the son of the petitioner full stop. Presumably, it has been filed to prove the domestic relationship between the petitioner and the respondent full stop. The court below comma after hearing both sides comma dismissed the said petition as per exhibit P6 order full stop. The said order is under challenge in this OP within bracket CRL. Parachange, I have heard Sri Sarath M.S., the learned counsel for the petitioner and Sri Shantos Matthew, comma, the learned counsel for the respondent, full stop parachange. The learned counsel for the petitioner submitted that conduct of the DNA test is absolutely necessary to prove the case of the petitioner and her son is ready to undergo the test and comma as such comma the court below ought to have granted the prayer sought for full stop para change. Par contra, the learned counsel for the respondent submitted that the paternity or legitimacy of the son is not an issue to be decided in the DV proceedings pending before the court and hence the court below was absolutely justified in rejecting the prayer full stop. Exhibit P1 is the copy of the petition in MC number 34 slash 2020 on the file of the judicial first class magistrate court comma chitur full stop. The relief sought for protection order and monetary relief full stop. Absolutely no relief has been sought in respect of the son of the petitioner full stop. What is to be proved to maintain an application under the DV Act is that the petitioner is an aggrieved person and that there is domestic relationship between the petitioner and the respondent. Full stop. The petitioner herein alleges that she is the legally wedded wife of the respondent and they have resided together as husband and wife in the shared household. Full stop. It is up to the petitioner to substantiate the same by adducing necessary evidence full stop. Even if the DNA test is conducted and paternity is proved, comma, that would not help the petitioner to prove the so-called marriage or domestic relationship full stop. No doubt, comma, in appropriate case, comma, the court can order DNA test full stop. However, comma, it is settled that comma, strong prima facie case is to be made out to compel a person to undergo DNA test and the DNA test must be relevant to decide the fact in issue in a particular case full stop. As stated already, comma, the paternity or legitimacy of the son is not at all a fact in issue in the proceedings 
initiated by the petitioner against the respondent at the court below full stop 